Iloilo was the second Spanish colonial center after Cebu in the Philippine Islands. It was founded in 1566 when the Spanish established a colony area between the towns of Ogtong, presently Oton, and La Villa Rica de Arevalo, presently City District. It was one of the royal Spanish cities in the Philippines in the Spanish East Indies. Iloilo City is also called the most loyal and noble city, which was given by the Queen Regent of Spain, Maria Cristina, for the city's loyalty to the Spanish crown during the Philippine Revolution. The second city to have such by name in the country after the city of Manila. At the turn of the 20th century, Iloilo was second next to Manila in terms of economic importance in the country before the Treaty of Paris ceded in Philippines to the United States in 1898, Iloilo served as the Spanish Empire's last capital in Asia and Pacific. Iloilo was also the capital of the federal state of the Visayas, a short-lived state in the central Philippines patterned after the United States federalism and the Swiss Confederacy. In modern times, the city remains one of the Philippines' most influential cities in terms of its history, culture, and economy. The city is the regional hub of education, culinary, religion, healthcare, tourism, culture, industry, and economy in Western Visayas. Iloilo City is located in the southern shores of Panay Island. The city faces Iloilo Strait and Guimaras Island across it, making it a natural harbor and a safe anchorage for ships. It is bordered by the towns of Oton in the west, Pavia in the north, and Leganes in the northeast. Just across the Iloilo Strait in its eastern and southern coastlines, are the towns of Binavista and Hortan in the province of Guimaras. The city is divided into seven geographical districts. All of the districts were once individual towns, excluding Lapus, which was a sub-district of La Paz until 2008. General Juan Anacleto Araneta, also known as Don Juan, was born on July 13, 1852 in Molo, Iloilo, but the Araneta's moved and settled permanently at Negros. Don Juan was one of the leaders of the Negros Revolution, the event that took place on November 5, 1898, known as Cinco de Noviembre. Luciano Lopezaina was born on December 18, 1856 in Iloilo. He was a journalist, great revolutionary hero and orator. He is also known as the founder of the fortnightly newspaper La Solidaridad. Graciano is noted by Philippine historians as part of the triumvirate of Filipino propagandists alongside with Marcelo H. Del Pilar and Jose Rizal. Iloilo City prides itself on having a vibrant cultural and artistic ecosystem. The Dinagyang Festival, a religious spectacle featuring dancers with elaborate costume and headdresses, attracts tourists within and outside the Philippines who want to experience the Ilonggo version of merrymaking. While a part of the city's heritage, the festival now enjoys a global following, having been featured in vlogs and taken part in the Philippine Independence Day Parade in New York. The city's cultural relevance does not end there. The current administration plans to transform it into an art center. 
a testament to which are the 12 newly created art spaces, with the opening of a number of museums showcasing local and international art. Opportunities abound for Ilongo talents with a passion for art, especially now as the country becomes a hotbed for creative process outsourcing services. The Nagyang Festival is one of the biggest and world-class festivals in the Philippines. It traces the history of devotion to the Holy Child Jesus, popularly known to Filipino devotees as Senor Santo Nino. The festival also commemorates the arrival of the Malay settlers and the legendary barter of Panay Island from the natives called Ati. The Nagyang season in Iloilo City is on the first month of the year and highlighted with an Ati tribe competition every fourth Sunday of January. There is an official launching by mid-October of the previous year signaling the start of preparations, especially for tribes to practice for their performances in January of the next year. The participants shows impressive choreography with colorful tribal costumes and striking props to present socio-cultural and religious tableaus depicting life in Panay before the Spanish colonization and the advent of Catholicism in the country. Iloilo is home to historical landmarks, quaint beaches and islands heritage homes, a tasty and unique cuisine, the province, picturesque natural wonders, and the friendly locals will make this a destination that will feel like a second home.